Hello everyone! Okay, it's time for another product review and yes, I just recently reviewed the Dea Greek style plain yogurt in the large tub and then online I learned that they have the Greek style yogurt in the vanilla bean flavor, which someone said they really loved. So I went back to... I had it was not actually at the Fortinos I normally shop at, but it was at one that's close to the school where my daughter goes, so I found it there and I'm going to review it for you. So obviously here it says plant-based food. It is dairy and soy free. It has nine grams of plant protein, it's gluten free, and it's a new product. The ingredients essentially are water, coconut cream, it's got pea protein, um, potato protein, chicory root, rice starch, uh, lactic acid, locust bean gum, vanilla extract, guar gum, uh, vanilla, vanilla bean seeds and bacterial cultures. You can look for a more specific ingredient list, but that's that's ju the gist of what's inside there. I listed most of them. Okay, and for the nutrition facts, this one has more sugar with this vanilla bean. I see it's got 22 grams of sugar. It also has 270 calories per one cup, 11 grams of fat, 9 grams of saturated fat, zero cholesterol, 110 milligrams of sodium, 34 grams of carbohydrates, 3 grams of fiber, like I said, 22 grams of sugar, 9 grams of protein, no vitamin A, no vitamin C, but it does have 2% calcium and 2% iron. Keep refrigerated. So I'm about to open it. Okay, it looks just like how the other one did. You know, thick on the top. I'm almost thinking that I kind of prefer like the silk um, or so delicious yogurt that's just not quite as thick, but that's okay. If you love Greek yogurt, this is, you know, the this, obviously this is a Greek style yogurt. Um, and that's what it looks like. You can see, it may be hard to see, not major flecks, but little flecks of the vanilla bean. Just a couple little dark specks there. Mmm. Okay. I see why she likes this. The person who, yeah, I like this a lot. I like this better than the plain. I guess for the same reason that I like the cherry flavor and the peach flavor because it's got some sweetness to it. Now, it does have 22 grams of sugar, but it tastes good. That's my review. <laughs> I'm not saying gorge on this stuff, but the plain, like I'm gonna make some vegan butter for uh, for Christmas, so I'm gonna use the plain in there with my cashews that I'm gonna blend up to make the butter to give it a cultured uh, flavor. And um, I did find the plain I liked also on my burrito as a sour cream. And probably if I'm going to have fruits, you know, the plain is what I would maybe opt for. So I can have the plain with some fruits in there. But this, you can just eat straight out of the pack how you like. I mean, you can eat them how... Some people love a plain yogurt just to eat. I always like a plain yogurt with some granola and some fruit and that kind of stuff. But this, you don't necessarily have to add that if you don't want to. It would be nice in a added to a smoothie as well. Maybe if you have a smoothie that's not very sweet, what you're putting in there. You could add a bit of this, and we'll give it a little bit of sweetness. It's good. I really, really like this a lot. All right, guys, that's all for now. And hope you uh, like the review. Let me know what you think. As I said, I'm going to do a video about Dea being sold to that uh, non-vegan company and some other companies as well, guys. All right, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.